which among the following are not seen in a child with megaloblastic anemia associated with B12 deficiency. Presence of macrovellocytes, raised serum methyl malonate, raised serum LDH is often seen and a reduced urinary homocysteine is the most sensitive marker of B12 deficiency. So now they are saying not seen. Let us have these options, look at these options one by one. Presence of macroovellocytes is a true statement. Macroovellocyte RBCs are one of the early features along with hypersegmented neutrophils on peripheral blood smear. So if somebody asks you what are the two cardinal important manifestations of B12 deficiency on peripheral smear. Number one, macroovellocytes. Number two, hypersegmented neutrophil. If both are present, the first thing that should come to your mind is the, we are dealing with B12 deficient anemia. Second thing, raised serum methyl malonate is again a two statement. Raised serum homocysteine, raised serum methyl malonic acid, they are seen in these patients. B12 level, serum B12 levels will obviously be low. Regarding serum iron, they may be normal or slightly increased in these patients. Then option number C, raised serum LDH is often seen is also a true statement. Nelson clearly says raised serum LDH occurs because of ineffective erythropoiesis which is happening in these patients. So ineffective erythropoiesis can cause moderate elevation in serum LDH. Two to three times of normal LDH can be seen in these patients. And fourth option is a false statement. Why? The, one of the most sensitive marker of B12 deficiency is not reduced urinary homocysteine. It is raised urinary methyl malonic acid or MMA which is one of the reason which is a sensitive marker of B12 deficiency. So by exclusion they are asking not seen and the answer to this question is D. Subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss an update from PrepLadder.